it wasn't ideal and the wife wasn't happy but I spent the last hour scrubbing the hell out of that block I haven't removed the sump plugs yet I'll do that later on down the track so now I've got to get it out in the backyard in the sun as you can see it was so hot it's all drying off really quickly and that was sort of my plan uh, so I'll get it out in the backyard dry it off and get some paint on that block straight away would love to film this whole process unfortunately the rust is forming on the outside of the motor already got it all taped up throw some paint on it now let's throw some primer on it I've got a the plan is grease some wax get rid of some of that rust it's only been there for half an hour uh, WD-40 has already gone down on all the bores the bores have um, rags stuffed all the way through them soaked in WD-40 got some primer and then some just some black right on the motor jealous right. of my spray booth but I think I cut down all the long grass around it. Primer's on. I've put two coats on so far. Might put another third on. Gone all the way around the side there. Anywhere where it's like wrinkled. Casting, I'll be trying to paint. So, and then we'll go engine enamel and it should look good. Yeah, that was a process. About two hours of panic and stress. <laughs> I've never really gone to this extent painting a motor before. So there's three coats of primer, and so far there's two coats of um, gloss black. I'm not sure whether it needs that much, but hell, it's on there now and there's nothing I can do about it. So I can't wait. My son wants to come and do the peel and peel all the tape off. So it'd be interesting to see if there's any rust inside. I really hope there's not. I really went out of my way to try and prevent that. Back in the workshop, up on the stand. It's just what I did with the, the bores to keep them, I guess, oily and moist but clean. So just a couple of rags stuffed down there, soaked in WD-40. I think I actually missed down in there, but it shouldn't be so hard to clean out. But I get the fun job. Start to assemble. This might be my first uh, moment I'm trying to work out which end this goes on. They weren't actually marked. They were marked by the locating rings being in a specific place. So this one's only got one. One had both. I'll smooth that out with my finger and see how we go. The only thing worrying me is that oil gallery is just a little bit off for some reason. But it can't go in any other way. You've got the keyway there, so it must be right. That oil gallery is right. That one's a little bit off. We're just aftermarket bearings, I'd say. I'm going to assume that that's going to be fine because you want that, that oil gallery right in the middle. So maybe that was just a poor casting or poor drill when it was made. Who knows? Might be another problem for me to contend with later on down the track. Been forced off the internet and back to old school. So what I'm trying to figure out here at the moment is because I don't have another motor to look at and I didn't pull this motor apart, I've got to work out everything again from scratch um, or remember it as the case may be. So this one has been marked one and one, and it also has one up there. If you can see it, if it'll ever focus, there you go, one. So that's piston one, I'm, I'm assured of that. And over here, it's got some markings here saying um, which one's piston one. We've got the distributor output there. So that makes number, the front of the motor here. So we've got a little arrow on the top of that. And like I said earlier, they're 60 thou over, not 80 thou over, I thought they were 80 with the arrow there so it's facing towards the front of the motor so this is the front of the motor um they've got the harmonic balancer down this end so this piston will go in here like this now i haven't got the rings on yet so it does appear to be correct as per that diagram there we've got the swing of the conrod sliding back that way and it looks all the dimensions look the same so i'll do a test fit without the rings first and see how we go my son really wanted to do this part, but he's not here. Alright, that's going to take some cleaning. That's neither here nor there. Maybe this tape wasn't ideal. But it's only tape, it's only sticky stuff, it can be cleaned up. So, take that out, keep our rags in there. I'll lube up, lube up that piston, I'll put that 
as much as I can right there so it doesn't scratch it. I'll lube that up as well. We'll get this done. Right, first piston's in. It appears to sit there all right. Got the 6D and the arrow towards the front of the motor. And I'll see if I can show you underneath. Probably can't. There we go. It sits naturally on there. Now there's no bearing in there and there's assembly lube on the inside of that so it's not a problem. I've got it everywhere actually. Um, and for the bore, I just covered the bore in some, some oil. So pull it out now, put the rings on and see where we go from here. I won't be recording too much more putting the pistons in, but we got the first one in, the rings are on. I made sure I absolutely slathered that with the oil before I um, inserted the piston. Got a ring compressor down there. I've got so much assembly lube in there, it's probably gonna be a problem, but you know, it's better than too much than not enough. All through there, you can't see much that side because that's the side it was put in on, but that's the side it all pushed through. So come, the pin come out this side, so to speak. So went in that way, so it cleaned it up. But yeah, so won't be recording too much more of this. In a second, you'll see all the pistons in with the rings done and I'll be able to turn it over. There you have it, got four pistons in, four lots of rings. There's plenty of oil coating those bores. Got all arrows in the right direction. 60, arrow, arrow, arrow. And then I believe that's the front of the motor. God, I hope that's right. But at any rate, that's it for today. Oil everything up, lube it up. Just, I don't know what you guys do, but I've just been doing WD-40 by the can. Just dumping it in there, just making it drip off everywhere. Um, I've done the same with the, the cam, uh, the push rods and stuff like that. I've all, all done the same with that. So anyway, tubers, I'm going to call that a video for now. Uh, the next, I think the next step will be working out the rebuild of the gearbox or what I do with the gearbox or whether I just buy one done and getting that head port and polished. I know I said a thousand, but I was gonna get it done anyway. So I'll take that over this week and get that done. So the next video is probably gonna be the port and polishing that because I'm allowed to watch if, if it works in with his timetable. So Jeff, expect to see me soon. Everybody else, I'll see you when I see you. And the next video on my channel may even be a battery one. Cheers tubers, thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.